he is the like one of the best romance author that I've ever come across. Namaste guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Divya and I make videos work related. So as you all know, I am not exactly a romance lover. I really don't like reading romance books. But there are times when I actually read some romance books and love them. So today I am going to be sharing with you some of the romance books that I personally love reading and I would love if you can try them out too. So the first book that I'm going to be recommending you all to read and it's for like one of the most loved book by me in romance genre and the author that I absolutely love again a romance author is none other than Nicholas Park and the book is Safe Haven. So fun story uh, I haven't read the book first I actually watched the movie first there was this thing going on back when I was in the school like in 2017-18-19 I don't exactly remember in school sorry it was way before that so there was a thing that on star movies or some Hollywood channel they usually used to like uh, film screen Nicholas Sparks movies at every next day it was like a stream yard going on around on that channel and I actually watched so many of his movies of his works they are only the best of me we walk to remember and safe heaven and absolutely fall in love with them so after watching those movies I was really curious to know what the actual story was because as we all know movies are not always portrayed the same as the what book is about and so many things are changed to make it more dramatic and just changed at so many level so i really wanted i was really curious to know the actual story what was in the book so i bought this book i read this book and i loved this book so the book is about a woman named Katie who was in a very abusive relationship a toxic relationship with Kevin her ex-husband to be and she ran away from him got to the south port met alex and his daughter who was actually has lost his wife in childbirth or in some kind of tragedy i don't exactly remember the reason uh, so they kind of get drawn to each other even though katie had promised herself that she would never love again or let another person in because she was on run and she knew kevin was going to find her anyhow so this story is whole about that how these two people meet and the actors who portrayed both of the role were really awesome and i actually fell in love with this this actor i josh josh dumbwell i really don't remember the name of him but he is the alex and uh, he is like he's one of my favorite actors till now after of course chris evans he's the best so I would highly recommend you to read this book. The description, the way Nicholas write a uh, feeling, uh, like just how the characters were feeling in this book, how Katie was feeling when she ran away, how Alex was feeling when he started to getting drawn towards Katie, how his daughter was feeling. Uh, there's other thing that the daughters never changed in the movie. And I was really like, why did they do that? But they did that. But I would highly, highly recommend you to read this book or any other Nicholas Sparks book because he's the best. He's the best romance author that I've ever came across. And I would highly, highly recommend you to read that. So the next book in my recommendation list is The Princess Plan by E. M. Human. So I have already recommended or this book or talked about this book earlier in my Disney readathon, I guess, TBR, uh, but here it is. So I got this review copy from the author uh, when the book was about to be released and I absolutely fall in love with this book. This book is, uh, there are some trigger warnings, of course, in this book, in every book here. And in this book is drug, drug addiction, suicide, rape, prostitution, like strong violence, language. So all of this are there in this book so this book is about marine who is a drug addict and was in prostitution because of the drug addict only and she somehow got 
arrested by uh, this hot shot who was a pop star that is Danny Roland and he is also a very popular <laughs> drug addict again with being a best rock star so they kind of get acquainted with each other and she becomes his personal assistant and things started to grow from them and both of their story they shares how they got into addiction and how they tried to be sober with all the chaos that is happening around them so i really liked how the story deals with the addiction and just at so many emotional level i actually felt really really miserable and crying while reading this book it it's really a good book for me it's a new adult book i absolutely loved reading this book so i would highly recommend you to read this book also so the next book in my recommendation list is even if the sky, uh, sky falls by mia garcia first just look at this cover page this book is so so beautiful i mean even the spine of this book is everything just just so beautiful this book is and that was the me one of the main reason i actually requested a review copy from the author and author was so generous to send me one so this book is not exactly an emotionally emotional book it's not an emotional read at all it's more like a contemporary romance and a simple romance love at first sight which i do hate but i don't know why i loved in this book uh let's just let me just tell you what the story is about so the story is about julie who just wanted to have a uh, escape from his day her daily life because something happened to her brother and she kind of blamed herself for that so she goes to new orleans for this midsummer mardi gras with a very strict team leader who was always at her to just maintain the discipline and everything and there she meets miles who was yet again a like i don't street singer a uh, yeah, street band a uh, street singer he was and there they met head off and started to explore the whole mardi gras together and he let her shine and let her like spread her wings that no one else was ready to give her and there then this hurricane came and the whole world changes life threatening things kept on happening and they kind of get separated but there's just a sweet ending in this book so there's nothing really extraordinary in this book nothing emotional in this book yeah you might feel emotional one or twice but nothing drastic in this book that you will feel like crying your eyes or anything like that but i still don't know why i really loved reading this book it's really a simple romance novel with a simple plot my one thing might be that this cover page it's gorgeous another thing is that i loved mardi gras i actually searched about mardi gras after reading this book cause i really didn't know anything about that and it was so good such a good festival such a good yeah festival occasion that i really wanted to visit there myself after reading about it in this book and how it was related to myths and vampires which is and everything like that so i am a very big like believer of them so yeah so that might be the case but i i am going to recommend you to read this book you can go for kindle copy if you th- of course this is expensive book but you can go for kindle copy if you want and it's a really simple romance read So now the next book in my recommendation list is The Ill-Capped Oath by CC Aune. So I've talked again about this book so many times not on my booktube channel. I don't think I've talked about it on my channel, but I did talk about it a lot of times on my bookstagram and I recommended it to many of ro- looking for just historical romance recommendation and this is really really good. So this is actually <coughs> a series, but I don't know why author has not came up with a series the second book in sequel after two or three years now i am just waiting for the book so the book is about two cousins a dark family secret a looming rebellion in regency england a mysterious inheritance draws prudence fair father and lady joseph in western out of to conduct ball rooms and find the shadow of insurrection this book is about as you can tell two cousins prudence and josephine one is going with to live with aunt amelia i think the name was amelia only to learn about how to become a lady and find a suitable suitor 
and another one is Josephine who thinks that people thinks about her being immature but one day there is a soldiers unit camped just in the garden of her home and she caught an eye of the soldier and they just hit off but there are so many things hit, uh, like a soldier and a lady not matching and there she actually found uh, I think a case in which there was mysterious uh, powers letters that uh, actually led them to discover this whole mysterious things that was behind their mothers and again with prudence also while they she was there she got so many tutors in waiting but she got caught eye of this one who was not actually liked by her aunt and while she was struggling with her aunt she actually also got to know about this uh, case again a case in which there was this mysterious ring which her aunt was very adamant not to have given to prudence mainly because that ring is disastrous in the eyes of her aunt so but thing is that she did have that ring because she was attracted to that she was that was the only hair loom her mother left for her as she didn't want to part from that also so yeah there was so many things in this book and so many mysterious magical adventurous charming things in this book it was like a kind of pride and prejudice at some point because there is mr darcy in this book the prudence uh prejudice prejudice uh mean lover suitor is uh, nothing but mr darcy his name is mr darcy in this book so there's so many things in this book. The ending was really good. It was a wedding ending, but it was a mysterious, adventurous wedding ending, which again left so many questions that I wanted to know the answers of. Because there was this new character popped at the end, and I was like, everything has changed again. So I would highly recommend you to read this book if you are looking for a historical romance recommendation this book is for you so the last book in my recommendation list is in 27 days by alison jarvis 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 alison jarvis so i found this book on wattpad i read this whole book on wattpad um and i fell in love with it i have actually reread this book on wattpad quite a like many times actually 10 to 20 times it, the whole book is still available on wattpad i guess but some changes have been made in the uh, printed published copy so i have still don't got my hands on them even though i still just desperately want that book but it's too expensive in india uh, i think i'll get my hands on it someday so this book is like in 27 days its book is a young adult book actually and it's so good depressing suicidal of course there are some trigger warnings against suicides there depression is there or major depression is there and so many other things are there that i actually kind of don't remember but there are some problematic things in this book so the book is about Haley jasmine who is shocked to see her classmate archer mile who has committed suicide so she of course didn't know this reserved uh, shy and just brooding guy but she still thinks that she could have done anything from him it would have been for the best and she just i don't know why she felt guilty about it so when she was attending her his funeral he kind of actually the same thoughts were going around his uh, her mind that why he did that i could have helped her him <laughs> i could have helped him and so many others saying that i don't know how she actually summoned death so she made a deal with the death that if she can in 27 days save him and just not let him to suicide she can save him he will be back to the life and she uh, he the death rewinds the whole life of the year 27 days before and she gets this mark on her hand or on her shoulder which depicts a day is done so what she thought that it would be a very simple thing but it was not there were so many emotional adventures so many emotional things going around in this book i cried in each chapter because miles family was fucked up there was so many things in his family that were just so terrible and like oh, it was so emotional to read this book every time i read this book and even Hadley's family was kind of fucked up but what not exactly to the level that archer's family but the things that 
they did for each other and still how Archer tries to commit suicide every freaking time even knowing that she was trying to help him it was just so saddening reading them and yeah it was just so so bad reading up just both of them but the ending paid off it's it's of course a really a happy ending but not exactly a best just happy ending there is a sequel of this book available on Wattpad only I don't know if this sequel is also a published sequel now but yeah I have read that sequel also and in that sequel now the mile has to not miles sorry now the archer miles has to give this whole exam to get our female lead that is Haley. so i would just highly recommend you to read this book this book is just really really awesome book so these are all the five books that i wanted to recommend to you being not a romance lover and actually loving this book i'm just saying that you might also love this book because ah uh, let it be so i would highly highly recommend you to read this book these books are really really awesome especially books by nicola sparks and in 27 days these two are my favorite of all time so i would highly highly recommend you to read this book also if you have any other recommendation that you think i might love do comment in the comment section i'll make sure to write that so goodbye until the next video